Princess Silicon Education for compound knowledge, having idea, knowledge, or even wisdom about more than one item when it applies together. For example, street. Hmm. You may call it infrastructure. How how many? How often have you seen streets falling apart or sidewalks because there is a tree which pushes the roots down? I mean, what idiot comes up with that? That's, that's what specialization and not being willing or allowed to learn anything else about what you did. Because this, the, the gardener or the, the, even the perfectionist about trees, he doesn't give a care about the streets. And the people who build streets, they don't know about trees. Compound means you know both. So you wouldn't pick trees if you don't have a proper space for them, or you pick the tr or like you wish and you must deal with whatever that is, whatever that is you want to do, you must deal to get it done perfectly. Needless to say, as a human, That entails a lot of things. And in, in educating yourself, that entails also a lot of things. So if you are, for example, someone, an engineer who is allowed to build a street, you might not need to go study gardening, but you need to have the proper knowledge. And that means you might as well get an expert over who helps you do that. Compound knowledge. To build on, on and over success. Now, again about skill. In order to get, be skillful in anything, it requires so much attention that if you are... If, you see, if you are unwilling to do that, because then you can't... You really cannot move forward. The commercial non-value about demand and offer. That destroyed Earth in many ways. While I, <laughs> us, we want new things, we like amazing things and beautiful things. And yeah, why not new things and weird things and all sorts of things and nice kind things. We are not pushed by the capitalism. And the capitalism doesn't mind about people. Or earth. It's just money. Any way to get money. And that is what demand and offer is all about. To push on you who is or was idiot. Anything. <laughs> you, They create the wish and the need for you to get it. So those guys or girls they would get money from you. You know, you must have that. Must have that. So you would buy any shit. To use or not use, to wear, to eat. Because someone told you in your mind, that's what this is. You gotta go and get, get that now. And you would put yourself into this disharmony. I'm not even talking about debts. I'm just talking about eating shit, wearing shit, building shit. Being unhappy, needing more shit because you're unhappy. Vicious circle of destruction. Just for them to get the money. Because they don't give a advertisement. Yeah, they make believe. You know, you need that to that to that. But you don't. Important. That you never ever have shit. Nor eat shit. Nor get shit. See, capitalism is about careless. And God is about caring. 
But Karen also starts at the coffee shop. If you work there, keep the tags clean, man. Give the customer what they want. Don't give them shit. See, that doesn't work. For no reason whatsoever. Anybody who gives blunt excuses why he she couldn't do the right thing and couldn't say the right thing and couldn't act the right way, it's just because all they have already given up on themselves. Bad news. Or they have given up and are active about it by composing a sentence like, he, she told me to do so. Destructive. Doesn't work that way. Can't be, can't live. In the transition, do what you can, the best you can, get over it. I mean, always we should be grateful, but right now, man, grateful to have food, to have work. Is that so hard, be nice and kind? When you're over it and frank, it feels so wonderful. And all this lying hardship around, it's so destructive. See, you're not nice, you mean you don't educate yourself. You just show, you don't teach anything, you just show. What's not God, what's not life. Educated about what's in it. Getting organic was actually a call against capitalism. And eating local in the way it, it's not at all what it has to be but in the way it was presented was against exploitation of others i don't wish organic food i wish not even have the term it's like i don't wish the compound of evil and against god and uh, god with god no, I don't want evil, period. And I don't want organic versus the poison food. I just want food. And that should be as it used to be. And that used to be organic. And I don't wish to exploit anybody. But it doesn't mean that I don't like import mangoes from Mexico when I'm living in the north. And the unjust money system and keeping the third world or the fourth world under control made it possible that it happened that if you have a factory and you employ your neighbors, then you would not make any profit. So you had to go overseas to some country where people would work for much less money. That's all. And yeah, you might as well say if you're an asshole, if you're a repube, <laughs> the repube. No, I'm not a Republican. It says repub. <laughs> Ignorant, of course. But then you give him a job. Sure thing. You do. And it wouldn't even matter. I mean, really, it doesn't. The milk was more, was less expensive in Mexico than it was in the United States. Though so are the tomatoes. I mean, really. If you could actually have a good living standard, it doesn't matter if, if the peso is, you know, only a 10% of the, of the Mexican, do of the American dollar. What matters is the you know what you can buy with it and what you can do with that, and that was the issue about third and for fourth and first world. It's not that the money was devalued. Also, keep the less rich, meaning the poor, in in this less powerful position. That's the whole idea. So they would accept even more bullshit. That's the exploitation we don't want. So this idea came out organically farmed, sustainably grown, uh, women not mistreated while doing the crafts from whatever other continent we buy.
And that left mostly of the, the women in the United States to, to idiot quilting, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> because the great stuff they couldn't that wasn't allowed anymore. So Etsy came up and that's a good thing. I think. Uh, I don't know much about Etsy, but the one item I found there was Etsy. <laughs> See the injustice is stupid. To so educate yourself to understand what it means. Yeah, and in, 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 in money Okay, if you import stuff, it cost it costs. I mean, if you do it local, then it doesn't. You don't have to cool down, free stuff, or you don't have to pay and all these little items. You have to pay the freight costs, and you don't have to pollute by having some ship having lots of oil burning to bring over that. What you can actually do from local, there's really no point to that. But I'm sorry, you can grow coconuts in Canada. You just can't. And vegan should be burned. <laughs> Someone said so. <laughs> vegans should be burned. Because vegans, vegans allow the planet to be drilled. Vegans, they need all that oil shit because they can't have nature in their life. <laughs> oh, Lord. Because of the, un, the idiotic, ideological attachments of dumb shit. Because I wanted to be better than anybody else in something. But they were not thinking because they didn't understand what it meant. Whatever they found, okay, that was actually exploitation of the planet, of people polluting. It was highly overpay, overcost. It was terrifying. Vegan leather is made out of oil. Oil drillings is not good. And you know how people work? Like mining, coal mining. You know what that is? Coal mining is poisoning people over a, over a few decades or even years. It's outrageous. To do what? So that's what vegan think it's right, but they don't think. God gave you cows and other you know, homegrown farming animals to, to, to nourish yourself and to waste yourself, to dress yourself. But did not God did not give you the ocean to pollute the oceans. Hello. <laughs> Hello.